Would you believe me if I said he had nothing nice, had nothing but nice things to say about you backstage? Um, probably not. Probably not. But uh, it's going to be interesting. You guys are in for a real treat with uh, myself and Ronnie Mac racing each other. Not only that, and that's going to be a lot of fun, and there's been a lot of buzz on it on social, but uh, the racing is going to be really good tonight. There's a lot of good guys. You guys can see the scoreboard. You know, timing and scoring, I mean, those guys are within a tenth or two, and uh, that's what we want, and it's going to be a really good battle, and I'm sitting here telling you, I don't know who's going to win tonight, and that's a lot of fun. That is a lot of fun. Hey, it's a tight, crazy track here in Sydney every single year. It's got to be a blast to come out and ride it, but I'm sure you're a little bit relieved that there's no pressure on the try and race against those guys. Oh, of course I am. I mean, I'm not, I'm still, I'm still upset with Chad that we're not racing. However, uh, I'm kind of glad because he was a really good spanky, so uh, now the pressure's off a little bit. Hey, let's talk about this bike because I know this is special. This is your championship winning bike from 2005, correct? Yeah, that's right, and uh, it's a good bike. I've only ridden it probably three or four times since then. And uh, before we closed up shop at RCH, I had the boys uh, put some uh, love to it. It was sitting in the shed for a while and had some cobwebs on it and all that fun stuff. So uh, they put some uh, put some shine on it, and I figured uh, what a uh, what a great place to come here and race in front of the Aussie fans at the Monster Energy Ozx Open uh, with my mate Chad. And uh, I'm not just going to pull this bike out for anything. So uh, special memories on this thing for sure. I mean, how does it feel? It is now 12 years old. It was the fastest bike in the world 12 years ago. Does it still feel quick? I'm, I'm actually, I can't believe this thing felt fast 12 years ago because compared to what we ride today, it's definitely off the pace. However, it was really good in its time and uh, it's, you know, it, you know, technology has changed and these bikes are so fast. These guys are going so fast and uh, doing crazy jumps, big distances, out of small, out of tight corners. And, uh, but it's fun to ride. It's fun to go down memory lane for sure. Well, I'll tell you what, besides the fact that you brought out one of your girls and uh, that you, every time you come here, it's not just about you riding. There's the fact that every time you finish riding, you get off your bike, you give it to someone, you get your helmet off, you're on the finish line, chatting to the fans, chatting to the kids, and uh, just generally being an incredible ambassador for the sport. We want to thank you, and Australia right now wants to thank you. How about folks? Thank you, guys. We're going to have a great time. You guys, you guys really make this trip for, for myself. Uh, when I first came here two years ago, I mean, it was an honor to come here and, and ride with you guys. And uh, it's been a well, mate, I'm going to be really cheeky right now because, you know what, you can't be sitting here talking about this thing and the ring of the being of the two-stroke and these folks not hear it. Could I ask you, I'm probably going to get in trouble for this, you give us a couple of laps right now. We'll do a couple of laps. What do you say, Sydney? Ricky Carmichael's going to show you his 2005 championship winning bike. Cut a couple of laps. Get ready to hear this thing. Hey, uh, make sure that tunnel is closed and that the track is clear because Ricky Carmichael is about to put on a demo. So, folks, how about it? Please get loud for Ricky Carmichael.